The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a 13 millimeter and a 17 millimeter uh, to get this brake caliper off. So right back here, you have a 13 millimeter here, top and bottom, and you can hold on to it with a 17 millimeter uh, right there. And then we're just gonna slide this guy up. Cable right out here. It's just got a little plastic clip. Just pop that out. Just be careful you don't break it so that you can pop it back in. So this is the electronic uh, parking brake. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to take this mechanism off right here. Uh, there's two T30 uh, Torx bit screws that will take off. This assembly will remove it. And then inside there's a seven millimeter Allen wrench. And what we're gonna do is rotate that uh, clockwise. And that's gonna take it out of that service mode so that we can then compress this piston back. Uh, and then we can get the, once we change the, the pads and the rotor, then it'll all fit back together. Okay, so we got our T30. Uh, but first we got this little bracket. It's a little red bracket on top. We got a little pin. Um, a little pin right here. We gotta push this red bracket back. So now it's back, that pin is gone. And right here, up on the top, there's a tab. We'll push that down and this pops off. So now we're gonna work on getting these uh, T30 bits out of there. Okay, now we gotta just keep track of the orientation of this. And this, um, I just pull it off with my hands. There's a like an O-ring gasket around there, so it holds on just a little bit. The inside, it's just a gear motor. And then inside of here, this is where we're gonna need. This is where we're gonna need that Allen wrench. So this will turn. Uh, clockwise with a seven millimeter Allen. All right, so she stopped there. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure all this is clean, especially that O-ring. Um, and then that there is no debris or junk inside of here. I just need to keep the water out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up a bit. Okay, so we got that cleaned up. Make sure there's no debris in it. All we're gonna do is we need to set this back together. Kind of work it work it back and forth a little bit make sure that it's flush now you got that o-ring that's gonna prevent it just a little bit but you gotta make these make sure the gears inside of there are flush there they caught so see when i put pressure on that that closes up the gap in that o-ring that's sealing this thing together now what you need to do is i'm just going to put a little bit of thread locker on these t30 bolts Thank you. 
so that is back together. If you have um, something to uh, compress your brakes back together, that's great. Like, I mean, all I've got is I, I'm just using a C clamp. Um, that'll help squeeze this back together, which I'll show you. You're gonna wanna put it on this uh, bolt right here, this T30 bolt, and this boot right here. You're gonna wanna squeeze these together. Some of you guys might have a spreader, and that's great. Those work better. You can get rid of this air by just uh, lifting up. If I can get that, get a yeah, flathead screwdriver or something. What I would do, so you don't get a bunch of junk in here, is just put this back on there. Then make sure you put this clip back. And you'll see the red tab right down there when it's good to go. bracket off um, and that is an 18 millimeter uh, there's two bolts on here uh, one is unfortunately down in this uh, the other one's not bad to get to it's right here There, right there, you can see where that bolt goes. What we need to do now is get the old rotor off. This right here is another T30. Uh, a lot of times these can get stuck because they're rusted on the back half of the bolt. Uh, so what you're going to do is we're going to see if it'll loosen up. Okay, so she loosens up and she gets tight. And that's where you got to be careful because these T30s will strip out. Um, they're not built for too much, too much torque. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take it out you feel that resistance and we're gonna screw it back in we're just gonna work it in and pull it out work it in pull it out right there back half of that thing gets rusty and then that's why it won't come out so just give that a little tap come on okay so now we'll put the new one on and i just gonna line this up and use that same hole looked like there are two on here but we only need one because we only have one bolt I want the one that's all cleaned out already. All we're gonna do is screw this back in. So it seats up nice and center. Okay. Before we put the new bracket on, we're gonna clean this up a bit with uh, some brake parts cleaner and a wire brush. Take the old brackets off. Place the grease on these pins. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a clean piece of paper towel, set this on. Pull these pins out and they got a little rubber boot that goes over them and what we need to do we need to make sure that this boot goes back on the same way we're gonna take off all this old grease paper towel clean it up I'm using a uh, Permatex uh, brake parts lubricant. So I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna put a little bit down this pin. We're gonna put it in. Just kind of spin it around a little bit in there. Make sure. You're getting that grease all worked in. Make sure there's no dry looking parts on there. Then we're gonna put this rubber gasket back on. But we just gotta make sure that it seats over the top of each one of these little lips on here. A little lip on each one of those. Now I'll just do the same thing for the other side. All right. So now that we have uh, these all greased up, just put a little bit of that uh, ultra lube grease on there. I'm gonna slide our brake pads in the place just like that and then we will bring our brake caliper back down don't forget to put that guy back in at some point we're gonna get our 13 millimeter bolts and then get this other one lined up. All right, so those are all tightened up. Make sure everything is in place and the brake pads are in line correctly. Uh, with the rotor make sure you can see that red tab this is all properly seated um, we should be good to just put the tire back on a lot of times I'll take it for a test spin just uh, giving them give them another little crank just to make sure uh, that the tires on there nice and good all right so I'm gonna start up the car And then this is the last step you need to make sure you do. So you're gonna hold the brake down. You're gonna press the parking brake. And you're gonna, it's gonna go for a little bit longer. So park brake set. It's gonna go for a little bit longer than normal uh, just because uh, you put it into that service mode. Um, and you can take it out. Make sure you pump the brake several times until it firms up before you take it out for a drive. Just make sure the parking brake does engage. It's just park brake set. So everything's back working. Release that and then take it out for a test drive. 